Hey y'all, it's Kelanda and Jackie, and we are here to do a, I guess, Wedding Wednesday movie review. I guess. Hmm, interesting. All right, so if you'd like to hear what we think about the new movie that's premiering July twenty first, Girls Trip, starring Queen Latifah, Regina Hall, Jada Pinkett Smith, and Tiffany Haddish, you'd like to he he go. We saw the movie in advance because. Wheeler deal. What is it, honey? Oh um, my! I am a Cinemark Rewards member. It's an app you download when you go visit a movie at Cinemark. At our Perkins Road Theater, but it's just Cinemark. And um, when you download the app, you get points. And um, for like, if you go to a movie, you have your phone on Cinema. It's like a special silent. And if you have your move the phone on, you get points. So either way, being a member of that. You get certain emails every now and then. Every week they send an email saying you get a free nacho if you buy, you know, uh, a large drink, something like that. Okay. So, but this email was, you know, a rare email that just popped up and it said free screening of Girls Trip uh, Tuesday and you had to just, just had to pay the service fee. So I said, okay, cool. And the movie didn't come out until... It doesn't come out until Friday. So when you're seeing this the same week. Yeah, so we're doing a review of the same week because, you know, we didn't want to do it too, too, too early. So, yeah, so two weeks ago, you know, all you had to do was just buy the tickets online, just buy the service fee. And actually, two days later, they refunded you the service fee. So it was completely free, great wheeler deal. And it was in the um, the um their luxury lounge uh, theater. So it was like the big with the bigger seats and the leather. Recliner. Uh, yeah, so it was uh it was real dope. Lots of people. But uh yeah, so that's how we was able to get, see the movie early. I want you to talk about, honey, like how you felt, you know, from a man's perspective. Because some people may be like couples, you know, that maybe they just move into a certain town and, and they go out, you know, it's date night. So, right. So how did you feel as a man seeing the movie Girls Trip? Yeah, as a man, you know, I actually, and I guess it's kind of almost like, I might have a biased opinion oh. because like, you know, the movies was dealing with Essence Fest. So and that's something that, you know, us in Louisiana, you know, man, woman, couples, you know, your homeboys, you know, it's just like, a, you know, it's like a culture, you know, big thing of culture, Louisiana. So I didn't really take it as a chick flick. I just took it as a group of friends going to Essence. I literally think you could do a guy's trip, hangover, black, you know, Essence Fest trip, and that'll be dope too. But you didn't say what I want you to say. There was eye candy in the movie for him because he is in love with Regina Hall. So, so um, if you're seeing this, Regina girl. And we also have the same birthday, 12 12. Your birthday, December 12. My birthday, December 12. Oh. So Facts. He, What's that? So Facts. So he was just like in the movie theater, like whatever. I'm here to see my boo thing. I'm like. <laughs> There's some parts in there that are just like, you know, specifically for the ladies. But yeah. other than that, you know, it has some eye candy for us as well. Lorenz Tate was in the movie. Look, look at 21. Yeah, Lorenz Tate has the real fountain of youth. I can't think of the guy's name, but um, if you're fans of Luke Cage, I really believe his name is Mike Coulter. Oh, there yeah. may be accidental spoilers. Yeah. Not like, you know, huge things. And uh, we had our girl Tiffany Haddish from, uh, she was in, uh, what's the movie with Key and Peel? Keanu. Keanu. And, um, the Car Michael and the Car Michael Show. And, um, she just has a brilliant story. And, you know, she has a very natural comedic timing. And she was, she was hilarious. In my opinion, I believe Regina Hall was like the main star because they had like a lot of focus on her. Yeah, but, but I Tiffany believe Tiffany like carried. Yeah, Tiffany like really carried the movie, which actually shocked me. I was like, you know, like she's you know kind of like the underdog to say she's in the movie with Regina Hall, Queen Latifah, and uh, what's the uh, Will Smith's wife, Jada Pinkett. <laughs> Yeah, so out of all that, Tiffany was the one that carried the movie. So that was that was funny. I mean, that was funny and, you know, very intriguing. It says a lot, you know, 
for her future star power. So and that and there was footage from the Essence Fest. It wasn't you know this year, of course, it was from last year's yeah. fest, but. It, that they literally, awesome. literally, literally filmed it during that Essence Fest. Yeah. Well, I'm just gonna say this little part. Cause Tiffany was like, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna have sex with Diddy. I wanna meet Diddy. I wanna get yeah. pregnant. Her and, thing was she wanted to get pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know she was standing right by stage, and Diddy just danced his way over and grabbed her on yeah, stage. Yeah, they put on there. So that that was funny. Yeah. So it was like it was just so realistic, and I feel like the movie just tugged at all of your emotions. You wanted to laugh, you wanted to cry, you wanted to choke people. It just was like it was. You wanted to dance. I mean, it was just awesome. And then you know there were cultural aspects of it that you know were authentic to you know New Orleans and stuff like that when they actually flew in. And, you know, just some of the struggles yeah. that each character had, I think as, 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 you know, just human beings, you can relate to it, but especially as And people. then I think they did a good job because obviously um, none of the four characters are in their 20s. So I think it did a good job of like showcasing like how the dynamics of how close, you know, all your friends were, but how life you know, hit you yeah. and then you just, you know, kind of slip away and let's give a little synopsis of the characters. So okay. you had um, uh, Queen Latifah, she was kind of like, uh, you know, like the shade room. She was kind of like, you know, trying to do like her shade room, yeah. gossipy Remember, yeah. rumors, rumors thing going on. Celebrity info, stuff like that. And Regina Hall is kind of like a young Oprah. Oprah. Yeah, yeah, so she was like an Oprah, like a... You finishing my sentence. <laughs> but, uh, and who else? And uh, Tiffany Hash was like the one that... I, I don't guess, really know what she did. I guess they didn't necessarily develop her character a whole lot, but one thing that she was passionate about was her girls. Like, remember I want to say they all graduated college together, too, yeah, right? Yeah, they did. Remember when she prayed and she was like, Lord, I'm just so grateful for these girls. She just really loved him so much. So she's the one that's just really down like the crew love. Yeah. Yeah. And they and they cruise the, the flossy posse. Yeah, flossy posse. So yeah. I thought that was like a funny, corny, you know, yeah. nickname. Yeah. And it's like Jada Pink, I wanna say she might have been a nurse, but she was like a mother. Divorcee. Yeah, like real mothery, like and homely acting. So, you know, that's one of those things where they kinda have to What? Nothing. I was just, yeah, just getting comfortable. Nigga. <laughs> so they had to, like, you know, break her out of her shield to really enjoy herself, you know, there. Yeah, so, you know, like, it might have been her first time having a hand grenade or something. You know, that's, yeah, you know, she was. I just feel a shade tree. <laughs> a shade. Yeah, so. But no, he's, he's tickled pink because. After we saw the movie that very weekend, I went to one day of Essence, not even the whole weekend, like in the movie or anything. I just went to one night, the last night of Essence, with a group of ladies, and so he trying to shade me, acting like I was the momo of the group, <laughs> which I was not. Thank you very much. Excuse me. <laughs> One thing that I was hoping, just because Jada Pinkett Smith and Queen Latifah were in the movie, I was like, please give me a little bit of like a set it off. Um, I know I was looking forward to the scenes with Jada Pinkett Smith and Queen Latifah together. I think, you know, guys, it's gonna be a couple moments where you're gonna be like, turn your head. <laughs> Oh, but uh, it's a <laughs> yeah. nice balance of, you know, like I said, touching and tugging at all your emotions. And so, honey, what do you give the movie? We usually do out of 10, but I think for the sake of, you know, entertainment, we should do stars, out of five stars. Out of five stars, I'm going to give it a four and a half. Four and a half. Okay. Four and a half. It was, it was really good. I mean, to me, of course, it's one of those movies that's a little predictable, but I like the fact that just because it was predictable, I didn't know how it was going to get to the predictable point. I give it five stars. I just, I really enjoyed the movie. I wish it would never end. I do want to go and see it like again with some girlfriends. I think that would be funny. And, um, yeah, I just really enjoyed it, guys, so. And I guess I guess I was like a, a little bit, like, to know, like, what did Tiffany Haddish 
Yeah, I think it should be like a, a series or something. Like they now. I mean, shit, Hangover was a series. Yeah, I think so. Now that they're all, um, you know, kind of. And then next time they can go to Bayou Classic. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah, we hands at all the, you know, black culture. Yeah. And then, so they was like, remember Freak Meek? Remember that time Bayou Classic? And all that kind of stuff. So that was really funny. Yeah, that was really to dope to see. Our, like, real culture, like, being, like, really put out there. So shout out to uh, Will Packer. He's the one that actually produced the movie Think Like a Man. And, and I love the way um, there's a cameo with Mike Epps. Oh, yeah. And I love the way he's there because that's one thing about New Orleans. Like, it's just, like, random stuff on the street. And like, people, people will talk like, to you and, like they know you for... Oh, yeah. People are, like, pretty much, you know, really courteous, especially, like, in the tourist areas of town. Mm -hmm. So he was just like, I got this. You know, it was just so funny the way his little cameo came yeah. in. So that scene was, was really on point. Like, even some of the supporting characters... Like her assistant or whatever. Oh yeah. Like, Bobbly should like all that was just like so perfect. Oh yeah, my it goodness. really was. She was like, well, you come down here, don't say all that. She was like, okay, girl, bye. Like, yeah, girl, bye. <laughs> like I believed all of them. I believe they were friends. I believe when they, you know, got into it. I believe when they supported each other. Like it was just so authentic. And These were educated career career women. You right. know, just I I like it because it reflects to me my real you know what my friends are. You know what I'm saying? What mm -hmm. you do. So I really like that aspect of it. It was realistic as far as that goes. Like yeah, yeah. I mean they they connection felt really genuine. 